Hello everybody, this is part three and it will be last part for our uh, library, P um, Pillow library. And uh, we will learn filters in this uh, lecture. But before learning uh, filters, I want to show you how we can use convert method. Convert method allows us to convert an image to grayscale. That's, uh, that's why I want to show it. It is not a filter, right? But it works like a filter. And let's see how we can use it. And here I have a new uh, picture. Its name is nature.jpg. Uh, okay, I will use it. And here I want to create a new variable and the image variable. I will say img is equal to image dot open. Sorry, open. And here I will pass in my picture name nature dot jpeg. Okay. And after that, now I will use. Uh, convert method how can I use it I will create a new variable new img is equal to now my original file name is img and here I will say convert and only I will pass here L actually you can say also mod is equal to L or only L doesn't matter you can use both of them okay and uh, here also by the way I already passed here our uh, filters name and after this function we will also learn this uh, how we can use uh, apply these filters and here I want to show off, I want to uh, both of them okay my img dot show because if I show both of them we can see differences we can compare them okay and after that I will say nif img dot show let's see how convert method works as you see now it's ready this is that one is original one and it's colorful right you see that one is grayscale actually you see we converted our image to grayscale with convert method okay this is how convert method works let's go to back uh, go back to here and we now we will use our filters and um, but before using uh, our filters we need to import image filter module here and here you can say from PIL import image filter or doesn't matter you can here you can say comma image filter doesn't matter okay both of them uh, works here let's I want to comment these guys out and let's see how our filters works Uh, for the filters I will actually here I also need this guy because I need to open my new image here right and uh, here I will use my filters is here okay uh, how can I apply my filters like before here I will create a variable and I will say new image is equal to my original file file is picture is image right img actually and after that I will say filter and between parentheses I will say image filter dot which filter I want to apply first one is blue let's say blue okay and now I will again open my original file and after that the new one okay the filtered one and we will see uh, we can compare them okay we can see difference between the original one and also the filtered one now if I run it and let's see how blue uh, filter works as you see now that one is original one and that one is blue root one okay so this is how you can compare you know how blue uh, blue filter works and let's go back here and let's apply the next one it is contour and I will copy this guy actually and after that I will comment it out here only I will say here con okay if I run it let's see this filter also yes that one is like that okay that one is original one and that one is filtered one let's go back and see other one here I will comment this guy out again and here I will paste my code and here I will say detail that one is my favorite one actually I like this filter very much let's run it yes now you see here actually this this filter is really really nice because 
if you notice here you can see more details in this picture you see here and also see here you see you have more details with this filter this filter is really nice and as i said this is my that one is my favorite one and let's go to apply the other one see other one the other one is age and hands right so i will say here uh, image filter dot age and hands okay let's also see it yep it's here also that one is original one and that, that one is filtered one okay and uh, let's go back and now use other filter the other one is age and hands more let me say here age and hands more okay as you see you now that one is our new filter and this one is also nice let's go back to and apply the next one I will comment this guy out again and here I will say emboss emboss let's check it also as you see that one is uh, something interesting filter I don't know some people uh, you like it actually it is not about liking or disliking because uh, if you want to create something you need to create uh, your application for everyone and that one is can be uh, f good for someone for me it's not very well actually the filter but uh, of course it's up to you and let's go back and uh, see other filters that one is here I think and uh, find age right here I will say find age okay and if I run it yes that one is also nice I like it also find age filter and I closing it and I'm close and now go back to here now I will say smooth I think yes the image filter and after that here I will say smooth and this if I run for the smooth yep it's like blue actually you see uh, it's like blue effect right similar but not of course same and let's go to say see the other one other one is smooth more so I will say here filter smooth more okay and if I run it smooth more let's check it of course it's more than other other right as you see it's more than other it's like blue as you see here like like the smooth okay and I think we have two more no it's have the last one is sharpen how we can use it is if I let's also apply it if I say here sharpen and let's run it and see how it's working as you see is this is our filter is that one and the original one is that one uh, some details you can see here also more details with this filter you see it's we have blur here some in the our picture but in this filter you don't see blue places right and this is how we can use our filters in uh, pillow uh, library and uh, that's all uh, see you in the next